Yeah, amazing. Uh, this was my first head-to-head -head, uh, workout, you know, playing with Io. He's a great player, uh, led his team, you know, to a, to the tournament, um, top 10. They were number eight in the country. So, I mean, to be able to go head-to-head -head with somebody in his caliber, you know, I didn't really get to go to March Madness because I went to Arizona State. Uh, we weren't too solid this year. But, you know, to be able to, I guess, get that March Madness matchup, you know, top tier uh, matchup, you know, it was really good. It was intense. Uh, this was my last workout. I've been on the road all week, and uh, they really challenged us. Uh, so, you know, I'll be sleep on the plane, get my good rest in. <laughs> and uh, correct me if I'm wrong, All you, you come from a family where all four siblings played college basketball, right? Yeah, basketball is pretty much all we know. My dad used to say you can't live in this house unless you dribble a basketball. So <laughs> it's <laughs> yeah, almost all I know. Yeah, I mean, what was that like? I mean, I, I think most of us had siblings growing up and competing against them, but it must have been pretty high level competition, huh? I mean, yeah, I mean, I grew up around the game. Me and my brother Caleb used to ball boy for my brother Patrick when he was at Cal. Uh, I got to see LeBron play when I was a baby and I didn't even know about it. Um, I mean, yeah, it's competition. Me and Caleb would go out in the backyard. My brother's like 250, so I used to try and challenge him all the time. When I was about 100 pounds, I used to get beat up. Um, I think that's kind of, you know, why I am who I am today. So shout out to my family. Grady. Hey, Josh. Um, can you talk about what the entire draft process has been like for you? Oh, yeah, it's been a fight. It's been a grind. Um, you know, of course, having a rough year. Um, you know, I just had to lock back in, get back in a mode to, you know, set myself up. Um, and I think I'm doing pretty well. You know, I got to work out with Io. Um, you know, I, I don't think too many guys are getting head-to-head -head workouts with him. So, you know, just to be a part of this, you know, with him. Uh, I've been grinding really hard, you know, to get back to where I need to be. And uh, it's going to be fun. And how has this particular workout with the Wizards compared to your other workouts that you've had already? Yeah, so this is my first string of workouts uh, this past week. And, you know, they've all been intense. I've been on planes. You know, this is something that I've never experienced before, you know, getting on a plane and then going to a different state and getting back on another plane the next day. And um, they really challenged me in this workout. So, you know, for this to be the end of this string and for it to be as intense uh, was really good. And, they, you know, they really pushed us today. You know, I guess it was a, um, more of a mental thing. Uh, like I said, yeah, last string of workouts um I had a good time though I love to be pushed I love to be challenged I had a really good time and how do you think you'll fit in um the NBA uh, I think I'm just I think I'm versatile I think I can affect the game all over the place um I think I bring energy and I think I could lock up um I think I've always been able to play make and I think I could score the basketball that's what I've been good at I just think I'm uh, made for the game, you know, with the spacing and, you know, opportunity and just the sets, you know, it's a, an intelligent game and I think I'm an intelligent person. So I think I'll fit in just well. Awesome. Good luck. Thank you. Thanks. We got one more. Yeah. So as a guard uh, wing, I don't know, you know, obviously you could play multiple positions, but just uh, what, what is it like looking at the Wizards and the prospect of playing with Russell Westbrook and, and Bradley Beal? Are those guys that, you know, you've looked up to or, or modeled your game after or anything like that? Yeah, I mean, I've watched those guys. I mean, just since, I mean, Russell uh, being from California and Bradley Beal, you know, I think, you know, we kind of share some type of similarities being big guards. I mean, that man's legs are huge. Uh, my legs are huge as well. Um, he has that mid-range game. I think that I have that as well. That killer instinct, I think I have that. Um, yeah, they're definitely guys I like to watch. Um, I mean, you know, they're feisty. They get up and down. They bring energy. I think I, you know, I kind of resemble that too. And uh, if I could follow up, how did you uh, technically see LeBron play when you were a baby? Uh, was that when he was in the NBA or? Uh, no, this is when he was at uh, St. Vincent, St. Mary's, and they had a tournament. And uh, I think it was, it was a game. I think they played at UCLA. I have to talk to my dad about it. I think it was a game at UCLA. Um, it might have been when they played modern day, but yeah, when he was at St. Vincent, St. Mary's, I got to watch him play. Uh, how'd your workout go today? Oh, it was tremendous. It was, it was great. Great. And as a guard, uh, what do you think about the possibility of, of playing with Bradley Beal and, and Russell Westbrook if you were taken by the Wizards? Oh, it'd be exciting, you know, to be able to learn from those, you know, great guys and um, um, tremendous um, people. You know, it'll it'll be it'll be amazing. I'll be able to come in and, and continue to get better from them, take tips from them, and um, it'll definitely you know help my game for the future. Grady, 
Hey, uh, what have you learned about yourself throughout this entire process? Um, I learned that, you know, it, it's no such thing as in shape. It's always more ways to go. It's always, you know, more um, buttons that you can push to, you know, make yourself uncomfortable. And, um, you know, going to these different facilities, you know, talking to these NBA, you know, guys um, is, is very, you know, exciting to know that, you know, it's always, you know, more, more, you can always get more, you know, it's never a limit. Um, it's always um, things you can improve and little tips you can improve. Did the Wizards have you do anything different than any other team that you've already worked out with? Definitely. You know, I think this is one of the, um, probably the most unique workout I have so far. Um, you know, they challenge your, your mind your basketball IQ, of course, your on-court ability, but they, they pretty much challenged every, you know, aspect um, that, that that needs to be challenged. Was there a specific drill um, that stood out to you today? Definitely. You know, we first came in, you know, we did a ball handling drill where we had to, like, do between cross, between cross, between cross, and then between, we did that three times each cone. Then the last cone, it was a coach on a wing, the corner, and a slot, and you know, they had certain colors. So he called a color right, you had hit to the certain coach. So, and that, that was very, you know, fun because it challenged your mind and your basketball IQ to make the right pass. And my last question is, how do you think you'll fit into the NBA? Yeah, I consider myself as coming in, being a playmaker, coming in, you know, being a point guard who can, who can, who can defend, who can score, and um, who can also, you know, just bring energy. Thank you. Good luck. Thank you. Chase? I guess uh, on a similar note, what, what do you think about your game could translate uh, quick, quickly to the NBA? You know, like what do you think could allow you to hit the ground running? Yeah, being able to guard m multiple positions, I think that would be one of the, the huge reasons. And also just being able to, to take stress off other ball handlers and being able to, to, to handle the ball and make reads and pick and rolls. And, you know, another guy who can break my man off the dribble and, and create for others. And, you know, just being a, another, you know, playmaker out there, another guy who can, who can make things happen. And um, yeah, that's what I, I think I could um, contribute to the Wizards team. Definitely just coming in, bringing energy and um, just going out there and making plays. Neil? Hey, Io. Obviously, the Big Ten was, you know, pretty loaded last year between all the different teams. Granted, NBA, you know, next step up and all that. But do you feel like the Big Ten competition kind of prepares you a little bit better for what you're going through now and what you'll continue to go through? Yeah, definitely. You know, the Big Ten is, um, you know, that was one of the, the, the best, the toughest conference. You One of the best also, but just it's a grit. So, you know, that prepared me, you know, even though it's 36 games, it gives you, your mind a, um, an example of how, you know, 82 games, how 100 games is going to be at the next level. So um, I definitely, you know, enjoyed those battles in the Big Ten. I was just talking to Cassius, you know, today when I walked in, he was working out. And um, so, you know, just seeing him work out, seeing him compete, you know, it really showed, like, you know, how the Big Ten, you know, help you, you know, be, be, be great.